not judging, but we'll be keeping an eye on their deliberations. The contenders are Woodhall Spa in Lincolnshire with its 1940s festival in Edwardian Kinemark. The Morris Men in Elizabethan Manor House of Ilmington in the Cotswolds. Rochaine in Northern Ireland, where petals and people are as important as one another. And Cheshire's Pycnia, with its lakeside heritage taking a new direction with cream teas. We have four very different villages to talk about. And the first one was, when I went to Lincolnshire, Woodhall Spa whose claim to fame, of course, it was really in the centre of bomber command, and so it's got a great attachment with the Lancaster bombers in the Second World War, and a wonderful kinema in the woods. And there's a wonderful man there who still plays the organ in the kinema, and lots and lots of harping back to the um, 40s. It was very interesting. Were you interested in Woodhall Spa? I have been to Woodhall Spa many, many times. It feels way more than a village to me. It feels like a, a thriving small town. You went to Ilmington. And what did you think, Alex? I really enjoyed Ilmington. Uh, I, I really like the location. It is tucked away there in the Cotswold Hills. It looks beautiful. Lovely stone there. And I think the thing I enjoyed most of all was the Morris Dance thing, which I, even I was surprised about. <laughs> <laughs> the next one was Brushane in Northern Ireland. Juliet. Brushane. Well, yes. There once were three ladies of Brushane. Betty one, two and three was their name. Every day they plant flowers in sun, snow and showers. Winning village of the year was their aim. That's lovely, darling. <laughs> I found Brushane absolutely inspiring. The three Bettys volunteer so much of their time and this voluntary activity has spurred commercial activity so it's brought prosperity to the village i think it's a winner i'm sorry i've got to say it <laughs> fine now pick me patrick yes. Pickmere in Cheshire, which is a village um, whose whole history has been dominated by the mere. Most of the village activity is based around this lake. It is really a, a, a real focal point for the village. Right. Well, the three of you have now got to choose which one should go through to the semi-final. I just have reservations about Woodhall Spa. I just feel like we're dealing with a slightly different entity here. And it, it, it scores very highly for me on activities. Oh, yes. But then it's it's more of a town. It's a spa town. Well, no, I mean, in defense of Woodall Spa, it is a village, officially. It is a village, so you can't discount it because you think it's a town. <laughs> well, Pickmere, the big issue I have with Pickmere is that, the, you know, really the village is focused on this beautiful lake. And, you know, the lake, you know, Mere is in the name of the village. But there are so many restrictions on the usage of it. You can see people itching to get onto the water and enjoy themselves, and it just holds it back. Let's talk about Ilmington. Why are you talking about Ilmington? With Ilmington, I felt it, it's a lovely traditional village with everything going on. Fantastic Morris dancing. He can't. But I wasn't, I wasn't sure. the maddest person there, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but sorry, you, you weren't but sure. No, I'm not sure there's anything that particularly unique. I don't think it stands out as a well, winner. Our judges seem to be going in one direction. Right, so Alex, what are you thinking? I think what we're looking at here is, for me, a clear winner in Brushane because of what's going on. And, and, and there was just so much. Not only the restored mill, you know, the, the village walk, the wildlife reserve. Everything yeah. there, for me, was just, it was just hitting every category and scoring highly. Well, it's Brushane for you. I, I take it, Brushane for you. <laughs> Patrick? No, I'm, I, I, I agree with Alex. You know, I've written so many notes. There are so many good things that I've written down about this village. I think that's, that's the winner for me too. So, a village where life has been breathed back into derelict buildings and volunteering has brought colour and visitors to the high street. A unanimous decision. Brushane, you're a semi-finalist. Well, we're just delighted for the village, for the community uh, on a whole. Brashane definitely has what it takes to win Village of the Year. There is nowhere better. Look out, here comes Brashane. <laughs> <laughs> Next.
Next time, it's the third of our semi-finals. This Carolyn Lark is all well and good, but I think I prefer the drinking part. <laughs> the competition heats up. That was quite scary. <laughs> and this week's Central Zone winners... It's so beautiful, lots of nice flowers. Just a perfect wee village to live in. Battle it out for a place in the final. I think it's fantastic that Prasheen has made it through to the semi-finals. We learn more about each village. The village has got wire factor. Let's just have a wire factor here. And find out which village is in the running to win £10,000 and be crowned Village of the Year. Which is going to be chosen as a finalist? Things do get really tricky now, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yes, they always do. They get very tricky.